eccentric. <laughs> oh, give me a fag, Donna. I need a drink. You sound like my mum on her wedding day. <laughs> tart. Did you just call me a tart? No. What are we going to wear? What? Well, we are bridesmaids, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Uh, wear what you want. Come as an egg, if you fancy. Oh, that reminds me of talking about eggs. Would you like a hen night? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, chicken tramp. <laughs> no, we'll just go around some pubs or something. What did you call me? Nothing. Slag, slut, whore. <laughs> What's up with you today, Louise? Yeah, you keep snapping at her. You seduced him. Oh, God, you found out. Yes, I did. Mm. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. What's going on? Donna slept with my boyfriend. Oh, my God, when? It was last bloody year. I didn't steal him off her or anything. <laughs> you said you were rubbish. <laughs> Kill him? He swore he'd never tell. Look. <laughs> Look, we've got far more important things to be talking about. I then. snagged his bollocks on my sovereign ring. <laughs> oh, I was trying to find the perineum. It's a very long and bloody story. Look, can we just talk about my wonderful, wonderful day? Instead of arguing about some bloke. Of course we can, can't we, Louise? Flowers? Yes, let's talk about your flowers, as the skank suggests. Oi! <laughs> evil. Oh, shut up, you two! My parents aren't talking to me. The last thing I need is you two falling out. Aren't you inviting them to the wedding? Is it because your dad looks at me in that forbidding way? <laughs> Ew. No, Louise. They've got to come, they're your parents. I don't care. But let's welcome at my wedding than leave Bowyer in a mosque. <laughs> Do you not think it's a bit soon? Well, I've been with Johnny longer than most marriages last. They know that. I mean, I've even seen his talking anus trick. <laughs> if that's not a solid relationship, I don't know what is. No, a bit soon, like. You just need to give your mum and dad some space. They'll get used to the idea. Excuse me, Donna. You've no right to be lecturing when you've had such terrible and fearsome grindings with my boyfriend. <laughs> I shagged David once in a time far, far away. Now grow up and forget it. Janet, she can't be your bridesmaid. She's unpure. <laughs> and she's made my boyfriend unpure. He's tainted by a love that dares not speak its name. Bestiality. <laughs> Do not call me a beast. <laughs> Why not? It's not like you've never smelt of dung. <laughs> and, uh, quite frankly, Donna, when was the last time we saw your dad? Oh, yes. He'd just come down with foot and mouth, hadn't he? <laughs> and later on, right, we'll go down and see if anyone's dropped any kebab meat on the pavement. <laughs> Munch, I don't want a stag do. And who said you were invited? Me and Johnny's practically family now. How's that? Well, you're my brother. Half! That's the important bit, half! Like half a lager or half a Scargill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... And you're, you're Johnny's best man, though, right? So? That makes me fallback best man. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Tell him, Johnny. You can't just let him be best man. I'm the chosen one. You're not a friggin' Jedi. <laughs> You said I can organise the wedding strippers and everything. Because you don't have strippers at weddings. That's why I'm the best man to put in there. <laughs> I won't be much trouble, right? I'll just sit behind you until you faint or cry or something. Then I can take over all your duties. No, you can't, because you're not going to be there. I'm sick of you, Munch. What? But we're family. But you're stealing me life! You're practically moving in. You're taking over my private life like some little sucky Spider-Man thing. <laughs> You saying I can move in? <laughs> no! I'd never live with someone who uses my shower head to unblock himself. <laughs> so do you hear me, Munch? I don't want you around. Gaz, hold on a minute. You're being unfair. He doesn't mean it. Unfair? Thanks a friggin' lot, Johnny. Fine. Let him. Just let him be your best man. Don't blame me when he swallows a ring. I've got a fast metabolism. You'd have it back within 48 hours. <laughs> you know, like that Eddie Murphy film. Dr. Doolittle. Johnny, you're not taking this seriously, are you? Well, no, I'm not. You know, we both know you're going to be best man. And to be honest, I think you should be a little more tolerant of your own brother. All right, you have him. What? <laughs> Munch, 
This is your new brother, right? He loves you very, very much. <laughs> Hope you both be very happy together. Oh, All right? Oh, you give me the best presents. Gus! <laughs> oh, Gus! I didn't know you were so dainty. I didn't think you were so butch. <laughs> Don't start or I'll break you, you squeaky little twat bag. <laughs> Don't make me use my degree. Oh, tell me, do you speak like that because of some physical complaint or because you've never had a good hard shag? <laughs> and do you walk like that because there's still people trapped up there? <laughs> Cave rescue's there for a reason, Donna. <laughs> well, shut up, you two. What's up? That was the registrar. Oh, well, what did they say? Donna! What? We'll have nothing to do with this wedding. We're going home. Come on. No, but I... Great. At least you'll have a bridesmaid who knows how to control her flatulence. <laughs> I won't want to stand next to her anyway in case her vagina unfroze and she started humping my leg. <laughs> I can't do it. Isn't it nice how girls share everything? I know you ain't Louise. You might be the only bridesmaid, but at least I get to sleep with the best man. Belter! <laughs> what? I'm the best man! <laughs> Come on, we're going. Fine. He'll be all right. He just needs some munch time. Piss off! <laughs> you don't need her, Janet. I'll be the best bridesmaid ever. Hmm. And I'll be a beautiful, blushing bastard bride. <laughs> Look, I'll go home now and make you a nice cake. And if I were you, I'd start putting the pressure on Johnny now. You know, about his hair. <laughs> like your dress. Thanks. Look, I know it looks bad at the minute, but we can sort this out. Donna and Gaz will calm down and Louise will be a great bridesmaid. What, with a black eye? <laughs> Don't be daft. We've got months left. It'll have gone by then. And at the end of the day, it's only me and you that really matter, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Come here. It's all going to be all right. I suppose. Of course it is. Now, let's get you in that kitchen to make me a lovely egg butty. <laughs> Johnny, the registrar I've found before. <gasps> Have you got a cancellation? Is it for June? I adore June weddings. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, uh, <clears throat> actually, there isn't really a tough month, is there? Apart from funky old February. <laughs> no, it's not June. When then? I'm really sorry, Johnny. It's tomorrow. <laughs> You've been standing naked at your window again, haven't you? These speed bumps are better than any sleeping policeman. But I don't want to get married tomorrow. I'm afraid you don't have a choice unless you wish to be permanently separated from your penis. <laughs> What's going on, Pete? Hey, it's freezing in those stirrups. Who was it with Johnny? Tell me! No one! He was just... What? He was dressed as a woman! <laughs> the ambulance. I don't think he's breathing. Will he die? <laughs>